has gone no one I am sorry for my voice here my sound a little weird because it's late at night and I'm tired but I just want to get a video out today in case I don't and I die or stuff I don't know but yeah uh, it's an easy title video let's get right into it uh, so the, the, the link's in the description just click them and it will bring you to two websites uh, to download two pieces of software known as Handbrake and Burnaware uh, uh, so yeah, just download them. I'm, I'm assuming you know how to download and install stuff. Pretty simple. So, uh, so just download both of them. For Burnaware, just download blah, blah, Just download Burnaware free. Uh, Burnaware Premium Professional. You have to pay for. Uh, Burnaware is free. It's free. So just download free. Um, so yeah, once you download them and install them, which I suppose you know what to do. Um, just, uh, go into your first one. Actually, sorry, you're gonna have to have your disc in first. Uh, so, put your disc in, whatever disc is you want to copy, uh, whatever DVD is you want to copy, CD, whatever, and uh, go to Burnware Free, and you're just gonna go to Copy into Image. You're gonna pick what disc you have. So, uh, say you have a dual disc drive, which most people won't, but some people might. Just click that little icon there. And unless you pick your disc or whatever one you have, uh, yeah, you just press Browse. And you're gonna save it to where everyone save it. So for my case, I'm just gonna save it here. Overwrite this one. Say yes. No. Sorry about this. So I'm just gonna save it here. Two mil blah blah blah. And there, once that's done, just press copy. And this will take a while to take from <clears throat> a minute and a half how fast your computer is and how big the file size is. It'll take uh, an average from like. 15 minutes to about three hours or even longer depending on how big or how fast your computer is again so i'm just gonna come back when this is done now and see you then well in a second i touch your face while you are sleeping and hold your hand don't understand what's going so once it's done, you can just close the program, and now you can go and open Handbrake. Handbrake can also be used for lots of other stuff that I'm going to be doing eventually in this channel. So, and once you have that open, you can go to Open File, <coughs> and go to the ISO you just made from when you used Burnaware. Took a little bit of me, so let's go Open. I'm going to browse again. And firstly, um, wait for this to scan. It just will take a while to scan. It, won't take, it shouldn't take too long to scan. Again, depending on how good your computer is, how big the file size. Um, it shouldn't take too long. Um, so, yeah, and then go to browse and save it again wherever you want to save it. Me, DVDs in my driver's folder and uh, blah 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 blah. <laughs> uh, MP4 NKV, leave it MP4, I would recommend. NKV could do it, but it's not as compatible, and if you want to burn onto a disc, you'll have much more problems, so MP4 is, I'd recommend that. Large file size, I have nice iPod, 5G support, pick large file size, I recommend large file size. You could pick web app optimized, but, you could pick both actually, but I would just use large file size for big files, because if you click both, or you just click web optimized, then it does cause more problems, I seem to find. So, large file size that I usually pick. And um, this you can leave alone in case you, if you, you can mess around with it if you want, but just be a bit weary of it. I usually just leave it the way it is. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Then just press start and let it do its magic. And this will take a good while. It won't take as long as it took Bonnerware to make the ISO, but it will take pretty long. So, just have patience. And once it's done, you can just close the program, and you can open wherever you save it to. So, drivers, and DVDs, and supersize me. Which is what I done earlier, this is what I done there. Oh, I wrote stuff that, copyright. And this is pretty much the quality you'll be getting. It's not perfect quality, but it is very, very good. It's... And let me just show you how big this file size is. This is about an hour and 20 minutes, this super size me documentary. And it really compressed the file, 1.2 gigs, which isn't much at all for an hour and a half movie. 
road net pretty good quality so yeah that's pretty much it uh then when you're doing that you can just burn it onto a disc do whatever the hell you want with it and that's pretty much it as uh, simple as that so thanks for watching and see you in the next video